I'm Peter Cohen. I work at Cambridge Health Alliance and Harvard Medical School. And there I'm involved in both clinical work, in which I do primary care, I'm a general internist, as well as a lot of teaching. And in addition to that, I do research on di safety of dietary supplements. I became interested because many of my patients were taking dangerous diet pills. And because of the harm that I was seeing in my patients, I looked into it further and found that this was actually not just a problem in my clinic, but throughout the United States. At the highest, at the highest perspective, the problem with dietary supplements is that we have a lot of dangerous supplements that are out there, but we don't know which ones they are. They're actually impacting patients. I'm seeing it in my own personal clinic. And we're in a situation where currently a consumer, if you walk in to buy a dietary supplement and you take it off the shelf, you do not know what you're consuming. It's as if you're playing Russian roulette. I chose the title American Roulette for my recently published New England Journal article because consuming a dietary supplement today is similar to playing Russian roulette in which you're t consuming a pill which you have no idea what the adverse effects might be and it's as if you're spinning the cylinder of a gun that you're holding up to your head. The consequences of picking the wrong dietary supplement could mean liver failure, need for a liver transplant, could mean a heart attack or a stroke, or could mean addiction to that substance. It's very easy to get these dangerous substances. Unfortunately, many consumers think if they don't buy something off a shady internet site that they're likely to have a safe product if you walk into a store or buy it from a legitimate internet site. That's not the case. The truth is that any dietary supplement, including those sold at mainstream nutritional stores, can be dangerous. Unfortunately, when consumers go into the store to buy dietary supplements, they're buying a cocktail. In the ideal world, it's just a cocktail of dietary ingredients. But by law, tissue extracts, glandular extracts can be included, as well as what we have found has been a wide range of substances. The wrong plant, toxic plant material, heavy metals, bacteria, fungus, as well as prescription medications. In a situation in which um, I've prescribed a, a prescription to my patient, I am aware of what the side effects are. I've advised my patient about those side effects, and we're both looking for them. Here, we've lost that with dietary supplements. What happens is if you go into the store and you pick up this bottle, you have no idea. No one's advised you about the adverse effects. The next thing you know, you're experiencing the adverse effects, but you don't even know it. So that abdominal pain keeps on getting more and more severe. You don't connect it to your dietary supplement, and the next thing you know, you're hospitalized. Manufacturers can introduce products with virtual impunity because the FDA is put in the uh, position of playing catch up. They need to chase after dangerous supplements only after they hear about them from consumers and physicians. So what happens is that a supplement might be sold for years, maybe five, ten years, before the FDA has accumulated enough information to determine it's dangerous to get it removed from the market. This was the case for ephedra. It took countless serious events, including heart attacks, strokes, and even deaths, and multiple attempts by the FDA, including going to court to get ephedra removed from the market. When I talk to my patients and I'm taking care of a young athlete who wants to do better on the sports field, I'm speaking to um, uh, athletes' parents who are feeling pressure to, um, to take dietary supplements. I, I educate, we talk about the basics. We talk about healthy eating, about working out, and that trying to use shortcuts, such as dietary supplements, are at best not gonna be effective and at worst, it could be life-threatening. Americans do a great job at making their own decisions. What Americans need is the information. For example, if you're allergic to peanuts, and you go into the supermarket, you need to know, are there peanuts in the food I'm consuming? Well, you take that same problem, an allergy, or even worse, a hidden ingredient in a dietary supplement, you have no idea what you're consuming. I think Americans deserve to have the information that they need to make wise decisions for themselves.